Easy deep sea drilling bill. Call Jackie Dean. Why don't the Greens just come out and say it? Why don't they just come out and say no? Instead of dressing up the debate around the EEZ bill, uh, around various provisions of the bill, why don't they just come out and say that they want to say no to anything that means uh, advancement for the New Zealand economy? Why don't they just say it? Why don't they just use a little frankness and openness in this House and say what they really think? Frankness. Frankness. And say what they really think, which is anything that the advances the economic well-being of New Zealand and is to do with the environment, they're just going to say no. Well, Mr Speaker, in fact, this EEZ bill does a number of things. What it does is fills a regulatory gap which currently exists in New Zealand regulation. Now, outside in the EEZ currently, there is no regulatory framework for activities that occur in the EEZ area. Yes, we do have the Maritime Transport Act. We also have the Health and Safety and Employment Act, um, which provides some environmental protections out in the EEZ, but we do not have currently a framework for uh, regulations and marine consents, and that is what this bill does. Now, why the Greens could possibly be against a bill which provides uh, for frameworks, for regulations and marine consents, quite frankly, Mr Speaker, is beyond me, but I'm sure uh, they will have another opportunity to put their case to the Parliament. What this bill does is provides for independent decision-making from the EPA. It also gives effect and this is again where I disagree with uh, the view of the Green Party and indeed the Labour Party. It does give effect to our international obligations. And it's most important to remember, I, I, I also recall a contribution from a Labour member in the in a previous uh, time when this bill was debated. This bill is not about oil spill response. So this is not about mineral allocation, marine reserves. This bill is not about fishing. Mr Speaker, during the course of the Select Committee scrutiny of this bill, a, uh, a number of discussions were heard around the Resource Management Act and why it was that the Resource Management Act was used for part of this bill or principles of the RMA were used in part of this bill and, and, and principles of the RMA were not. We, we received some pretty good advice on that and I, I just want to go over it because for some reason, again, some Labour me members seem to be suddenly very fond of the RMA and feel that it should be the piece of legislation that has given effect, uh, an effect in this EEZ bill. But there are several reasons why it should not be. Um, there are areas of the RMA that are not applicable to the bill, and that is because of the different regulatory context of the RMA and what is happening in the EEZ area. And I guess for practical reasons, there would be provisions describing restrictions I'm on... I'm sorry to interrupt the Honourable Member. The time has come for me to leave the chair. This debate is interrupted and set down for resumption next sitting day. The House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow.